I mean, do you know if there were many people in the building? Oh, no, 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 no,
picture on the right and you can actually see the general um, route that hurricanes have taken over the years. These um, are a list of the New York hurricanes but it emphasizes that these are the hurricanes that made landfall okay so all of them made landfall and there's 84 of them in total now um, through this I'm going to scroll up the page you'll see what Wikipedia has got to offer on on the subject um, if you want to check it out for yourself I will I'll actually put um, a link in the video description and you can go straight there um, if you so wish but what I found interesting was was that because Hurricane Aaron didn't make landfall um, although it took a, a very similar arc as to what I'm showing you there it didn't actually make landfall and because it didn't actually make landfall it isn't in this list which I'm showing you now uh, there's um, a quite extensive list which goes quite a way back but if you actually um, scroll to uh, I think 2000 to 2009 um, there is no kind of event uh, where it says anything about where Hurricane Aaron came so close to um, Manhattan and indeed um, the Twin Towers Hurricane Aaron made landfall at that time, um, at that point, at that morning, um, the FAA would have, ha they would have to shut down the airports, okay? They would have to shut down the airports because it's mandatory, they would have to do it. So think about the official 9-11 Commission story about flight 11 flight 175 flight 93 and flight 77 and the stories that have gone along with everything that goes along with that they had to have this story out there if it wasn't their story would have just would have just gone out out of the window but it didn't it had to play out at that moment at that time and nothing and I mean nothing was left to chance is think of it this way 9-11 went according to plan let's put it that way it went according to plan now, if Hurricane Aaron made landfall, 9-11 would not have been able to go to plan. Think of it. Hurricane Aaron, if it made landfall, uh, it would have gone all over those, um, all around, probably all around the Twin Towers, right? Those airplanes would not have been able to take off from Boston Logan, etc., etc. All those... Air, aircraft that were seen in the skies right including the doomsday plane right if there's a major hurricane flying around in the immediate area uh, flights would be delayed flights would be cancelled so that's if it did make landfall so 
the fact that it didn't played into the hands of the perpetrators rather well, don't you think? It's just a thought. I know that I'm not not saying eh, kind of anything on that. I'm just saying that the fact that Hurricane Aaron didn't make landfall was played into the hands quite nicely of the perpetrators of 9/11. Because if it did, you know, history would be completely different today. is think of it this way 9-11 went according to plan let's put it that way it went according to plan now if hurricane Aaron made landfall 9-11 would not have been able to go to plan think of it hurricane Aaron if it made landfall uh, it would have gone all over those um, all around probably all around the Twin Towers Right? Those airplanes would not have been able to take off from Boston Logan, etc, etc. All those air, aircraft that were seen in the skies, right, including the doomsday plane, right, if there's a major hurricane flying around in the immediate area, uh, flights would be delayed, flights would be cancelled. So, that's if it did make landfall. So, the fact that it didn't played into the hands of the perpetrators rather well, don't you think? It's just a thought. I know that I'm not, not saying eh, kind of anything on that. I'm just saying that the fact that Hurricane Aaron didn't make landfall was played into the hands quite nicely of the perpetrators of 9-11. Because if it did, you know, history would be completely different today water cars and trucks abandoned as people fled for higher ground and we are also just getting in 
new video of a water rescue in New York Central Park. Police wading through floodwaters to rescue a stranded driver. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's how you make your money, man. That's important. Just get you get your stuff. I'm here. I'll hold you. Yeah. Just like just like that. I got it from back behind. That water really is unbelievable. New York's subways now back up and running after being knocked offline. Water was seen just gushing onto the tracks overnight. Basement apartments also flooding so fast that some New Yorkers, including a two-year-old boy, sadly did not make it out in time. And in addition to the flooding, people in Pennsylvania and New Jersey are also cleaning up after tornadoes. Miraculously, truly, no one was killed after a, a twister tore through this neighborhood. Look at that. And tonight, President Biden, who will be heading to Louisiana tomorrow, is promising help is on the way for everyone affected by the storm. And there's a lot of damage. And I made clear to the governors that my team at the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, is on the ground and ready to provide all the assistance that's needed. We have reporters on the ground from Louisiana to New York. I want to start with Jason Carroll. He's out front now, live in New York. Jason, how are things looking on the ground there tonight? Well, you know, Kate, New York's governor said it best. She called it a catastrophic event, and they're really feeling the weight of that in this neighborhood here in Queens. Behind me, you can see these people gathered at that home. That is the place where two people lost their lives. They were in the basement when the water rushed in. They could not make it out in time. Their names will be added to the names of all of those who perished during the storm. Tonight, historic flooding pummeling the Northeast and the race now to rescue people from their homes. We're still uncovering the true depth of the loss. The human loss, which is hard to imagine. Officials say they have responded to at least 500 emergency calls in just one Philadelphia county. We are still seeing ongoing flooding in the southeast portion of the state, some of which is surpassing record flood levels and there are rescues uh, ongoing. Flood gauges show the Schuylkill River rose more than 12 feet in eight hours. Just because the rain has stopped doesn't mean the water stops flowing. In Bound Brook, New Jersey, waters are still high enough to completely cover train tracks and to flood this stadium. Parts of New York are still underwater, a major highway in the Bronx, now a parking lot. And here in Mamaroneck, New York, the cleanup is just getting underway. These bakery owners lost everything. How high was the water in here? Do you have uh, any? I, I would say what was it? at least six feet, almost yeah, almost six feet. Do you see the, the line where, the, where that line is? That's, line right yeah, yeah. that's where the water went up to. Oh, my God. It all started Wednesday night. The National Weather Service issuing a flash flood emergency in New York City for the first time ever. The report was three to six inches over the course of the whole day, which was not a particularly problematic amount. That turned into the biggest single hour of rainfall in New York City history with almost no warning. But its intensity took many by surprise. The city's infrastructure was unprepared. Dozens of people were stuck on city buses and in subway stations. A lot of
Michael. Number two. Yeah. This just in, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. The CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our sources and trying to figure out exactly what happened, but clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there on the south end of the island of Manhattan. That is, once again, a picture of one of the towers of the World Trade Center. We can see these pictures. It's obviously uh, something devastating has happened. And again, unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed into one of the towers there. We are efforting more information on this subject as it becomes available to you. Right now, we've got Sean Murtaugh. He is a CNN producer on the telephone right now. Sean, what can you tell us about what you know? This is uh, Sean Murtaugh. I just was uh, standing on the... Uh, uh, Vice President of Finance. Sean. Vice President of Finance for CNN. Sean, we're on the air right now. What what can you tell us about this situation? Hello? Yes, yeah, Sean, you're on the air yes, right yes. now. Uh, can, what, go ahead. What can you tell us? I, I just witnessed a plane that appeared to be cruising uh, slightly lower than normal at altitude over New York City, and it appears to have crashed into, uh, I don't know which tower it is, but it hit directly in the middle of uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. Sean, what kind of plane? Was it a small plane, a, a it jet? Was a, uh, it was a jet. It uh, looked like a two-engine jet, um, maybe a 737. You're talking about a large passenger commercial a large jet. large passenger commercial jet.